Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how I made this super quick and easy cakesicle recipe. So because I wanted this to be a quick and easy tutorial, I decided to use pre-made cake mix and I figured just because we're going to be mashing up the cake and mixing it all together, why am I going to go through the lengths to bake a cake from scratch? Let's keep things easy and simple. Even if you wanted to, I think you could probably get away with using an entire pre-made cake and just mushing it together. So if you have decided to use pre-made cake mix, just go ahead and bake as instructed. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. And if you have any content requests, feel free to just drop it in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. So once I finished mixing everything together, I just poured it into two 8-inch cake pans and baked that. Again, feel free to put in whatever pan size you want. We're going to be crumbling this up all once it's cool. Alrighty, so this is the fun part. So take your cooled cake and crumble it up. So what I did is first I took half of the cake, crumbled it up in the bowl, and added half of my icing. Just because I wasn't sure on the consistency, by the end of this I decided to use both pieces of cake and one container of icing. And go ahead and toss in chocolate chips or sprinkles here if you'd like. The key here is to kind of get like a clay or play-doh type of consistency. All right, now time for the chocolate. So I went ahead and melted my chocolate and while it's still warm, you wanna pour it into your cakesicle trays and kind of just shake it around to cover all the edges. If you don't get every nook and cranny, that's okay. Just go back in with your spoon and kind of cover up those walls. We wanna make sure we have a thick enough layer of chocolate so it doesn't crack when we start adding in our cake. And just a tip here, guys, make sure that you keep your chocolate warm because it's gonna be much easier to spread around in those molds. And then just go ahead and take a popsicle stick and push it through those tiny openings to keep a hole clear for later. Your chocolate needs to be slightly warm while doing this or else it will crack. So once your chocolate has cooled, go ahead and start filling it up with your cake. Be sure not to press too hard because you don't want to crack the chocolate. Also, don't overfill these because the first time I did, I put way too much cake and it was a bit of a hot mess. During this step, you can also add additional filling, so I added score bits to the square ones, and then I've decided to add caramel to the other ones. If you are going to do any sort of liquid filling, like a chocolate or a caramel, make sure you make a little well in the center and then fill it up. Don't overfill it or else it will overflow. <laughs> so once I finished filling my cakesicles, I decided to pop them back in the fridge just to let that caramel kind of firm up. Also, I probably should have put the popsicle sticks in before I chilled my cake, so if you're making this recipe, do this beforehand. So once you've pulled your cake from the fridge, go ahead and just top with more chocolate, and then spread that evenly over the top. I would also advise only doing a few at a time so your chocolate doesn't harden and you're still able to spread it. Don't worry about if this part doesn't look perfect. This is the underside of the cakesicle, so no one's really going to see it. But do try to keep those edges as clean as possible. It will make our jobs a little easier once we pull these from the molds. Alrighty, and once that's all done, you're going to pop those cakesicles back in the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. Alright, so now that my cakes cools have chilled, you're going to carefully remove them from the molds. Don't worry if some of the sticks pop out, we can stick those back in and anchor them with a little bit of chocolate. And just go ahead and break off any of that excess chocolate, carefully. So this is our final step, the decorating process. So I decide to top mine with some dark chocolate and score bits, but feel free to do whatever you would like here. And once you're done decorating, just pop those back in the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. So here is the final product. I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I will definitely be making these again. Thanks for watching.